Good morning, everybody. Well, excuse me, afternoon. It's your girl Stephanie Robles here, and I wanted to take time to talk about the bigger pictures. Sometimes in our life, we are in a place where we don't understand our journey, our path, or how we're going. Sometimes we're just lost. And I woke up in this mood today, almost, trying to figure out kind of what to do next. And when you have friends like the ones that I do that they can actually, a simple conversation with someone can actually help you take the steps that you need to take in your life. Sometimes we do certain actions that we don't really think are going to add up to anything huge or play such a huge role in our lives and they could actually end up changing your whole game point and we never understand it i i'm telling you to cherish those friends cherish those friends that are that help you through those tough times that challenge you sometimes i'm one of those people that i I honestly, if you're like me, I honestly kind of have to be pushed to get that emotional response. I don't do well with my own emotions. It's really hard for me sometimes because I'm such an emotional person and I don't share that with people very much. But sometimes it's very easy for me to speak a different language, to say it in a different way. Kind of like if somebody asked me to, Stephanie, why don't you write a book about your life? I would not know how to do it. But if you told me, Stephanie, write a poem, I could do it really quick. So it's almost like a metaphor, really, from where you're going and what are you doing in your life. And it's hard to see the bigger picture because it's kind of scary. Like, you could have this really big thing. You're in the middle of something and you don't think that it's, it's going to be as huge. Like, I'm just nobody. I'm just a person, just one person. And it turned into something epic and life-changing and amazing. But it takes work. It takes patience, which, come on, you and I both know is difficult in this life. We're, we want everything now, right now at this time. We don't want to do the work. We don't want to be pushed. But unfortunately, sometimes we need to be pushed. Sometimes we need to reach within ourselves, deeply within ourselves, to sit there and self-reflect on the things that we, that we want. And we need to be selfish about it in order to find that bigger picture. What does it all mean? Where are we going with all of this? What do you, what do we really want out of our life? What do you really want out of your life? What are your goals? What are your dreams? Sometimes you have to be selfish about that. And those little moments that you take, don't feel bad about it. We all need a break from the grinding of work and play and dealing with family and kids and all that. Don't feel bad that you need time to kind of pull back from yourself. I used to think it was, I was a horrible person or a horrible parent for taking a break. But you know what, I'm not, I'm human. And sometimes you have to take a step back in order to take several steps forward. Not only to just gain perspective and gain a breath and kind of refocus yourself because sometimes we don't take that time to to get in touch with who we are. We're still very much the same person that began our life. I'm still very much the same girl that loved to climb trees and read books and just be and watch sunsets and play in the snow and have a good time and just think because that's what you need sometimes you need to find 
and listen to that silence within yourself to get a true picture of what do you want to do? Where do you want to be? What do you want to do? Maybe you're not even on that path. Maybe somebody's actually pressuring you, like you need to know what you want to do in your life. You need to know what you're going to do, blah, 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 blah. You don't. I didn't know what I wanted to do until my 30s. I didn't know what I wanted to do. If there were people in college right now that are studying something because they're being pressured to do it and they just want to fulfill They want to make mom or dad proud. But I'm here to tell you, like I was one of those people. And I can say today, my mom is pretty proud of me. I didn't go to college. I'm not there yet. I still don't know what I want to study in college. But I wake up every morning with a renewed purpose to help. To have conversations with people. To to listen to people. To be a solution to the small problems. Because everybody wants to deal with the big ones, but not the small ones. We each have a very unique way of finding our way in this world. And sometimes we're going to mess up. You're going to fall. And you're going to bust your butt. (laughs) But then you're going to get up. And those little small steps that you take every day are going to amount to an amazing big picture and sometimes you don't even see the picture you're still focused on the small one because if you saw the big picture you'd be scared and there's amazing things that are going to happen in your life that you never thought could actually happen in your life be prepared for them do the work a journey of a thousand steps begins with that first step Cherish the friends that give you tough love because as much as you want to completely get irritated with them and not talk to them and just get really, really angry and upset because they're pushing you past that comfort zone, they're actually seeing such a massive potential in yourself that you didn't even know existed. And they're pushing you maybe because they see something amazing in you that you don't even see in yourself. And at the end of the day, say you're sorry because nine times out of ten, you've probably like really been upset at them like, ah, leave me alone. Say you're sorry (laughs) because they're definitely preparing you for your massive future. And that picture is going to be bright. And cherish them. Because I can count on my fingers the five friends, the five true friends. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.